In this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade the firmware on a Motorola Astro Spectra using the TSOP lift method. First remove the cover from the Vocon board. Once you remove the cover, you'll need to remove the metal case that holds the Vocon board. This has four Torx bit that are kind of tough to get out sometimes. Next you're going to remove the T-SOP from the board using Chip Quick or a similar product. This is a low melt point solder that blends with the other solder and allows you to lift it off the board while it's still molten. It's, it's fairly easy to use once you get the hang of it. After you remove the chip, clean up the board and the chip using some solder wick or solder braid, whatever you prefer to call it, and a little bit of flux, and then wipe it off with an alcohol pad. Place the TSOP 48 in the TSOP 48 adapter. You'll need a 16 bit adapter for this. Place it in a Willem programmer or other chip programmer. Connect it to your computer and load the software. You'll then want to verify the chip ID and then erase the chip. This is a TE28F800 chip B5B. The Willem will only give you the B3B option, but that's fine as long as you set the board to 5 volts. And next, load the binary file for the firmware that you want and then select program chip. This will program and then it will verify that it programs successfully. If you have any shorts or anything like that it won't program successfully and you need to clean the chip up more. Next place the chip on the board lining up all the pins correctly with the pads. You want a magnifying glass or something to make sure that that's lining up correctly. Once it lines up correctly you'll want to solder it back on the board using the drag soldering method. You'll have to look that up and practice it separately. I suggest using a junk chip or board to practice with. But basically you put a blob of solder at the end, tack down the two corners with a small blob of solder, very very small, and then put a bunch of flux on the pins and drag the solder across and you'll reflux it, drag it again until it, you see no shorts. If you see any shorts you'll have to clean it up with some solder wick. After that successfully soldered on, put the board back in the radio. With any luck you will see your new firmware version when you do a self-check.